Cystic fibrosis is a hereditary disease that affects thousands of people each year. It causes mucus to build up in the lungs, leaving affected patients more vulnerable to infection than healthy people. Patients like Gary are thankful for medications containing the aminoglycoside tobramycin. They help to combat his respiratory system infections caused by the bacterium Pseudomonas aeruginosa. However, the misuse of these medications can make them less effective. Gary was prescribed Toby, an inhaled medication containing tobramycin. Gary only takes Toby when he is feeling sick, not according to his prescription. Let's take a closer look at how this affects Toby's effectiveness. Here are three Pseudomonas aeruginosa. Each one is represented as a little house. And here is Toby in his molecular form. Toby helps Gary eliminate the bacteria by attacking their ribosomes. Normal ribosomes have two subunits and create proteins through translation. The small 30S subunit binds to a strand of mRNA, reading it to the larger 50S subunit. The larger subunit fixes the complementary tRNAs and their attached amino acids to create a polypeptide chain. Toby binds to the 30S subunit, interrupting translation. The resulting protein is either terminated early or not proofread. Without the correct proteins, the bacteria eventually die. Sometimes Toby isn't able to do his job. Some bacteria produce enzymes that modify aminoglycosides via acetylation, phosphorylation, or adenylation. This prevents Toby from binding to the ribosomes and inhibiting protein production. These resistant bacteria are able to reproduce and create new generations of resistant bacteria, making Toby useless. Don't be like Gary. Finish your antibiotics, use them according to your prescriptions, and don't use them when you don't have to. For more information about how to combat antibiotic resistance and stay healthy, visit the PDB website.